Ten years ago, one of the most significant ceremonies ever held in this square took place, the beatification of John Paul II. 1.5 million pilgrims traveled to Rome for the ceremony on May 1st, 2011. Vengo porque he sentido algo maravilloso y las veces, las dos veces que estuve cerca de él, sí me dio una impresión preciosa. Many camped out near St. Peter's to be the first to enter the square. At five in the morning, the police began letting them in. Shortly after, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims were gathered around the Vatican. 87 delegations from around the world, including seven heads of government, 16 heads of state, and five royal households then entered the square. The ceremony began at 10 in the morning. A few minutes later, the Pope officially announced John Paul II a blessed. Auctoritate nostra apostolica facultatem facimus, ut venerabilis servus de Ioannis Paulus secundus Papa, beati nominin postrum appellitu. Then the Polish nun who cared for John Paul II until his death, and the French nun who was miraculously cured of Parkinson's through his intercession, presented Benedict XVI with a relic of his predecessor. After the Mass, the Pope and Cardinals prayed before the remains of the new blessed. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims were then also able to approach the coffin. A few days later, John Paul II's remains were transferred to the chapel of St. Sebastian inside of St. Peter's Basilica, where they continue to rest today. His tomb has become one of the most visited places in the Vatican. She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.